Hey guys, it's Kelly Ann and welcome to this week's video. So I actually did my makeup today and you're going to find out why probably next week. Um, I just wanted to first off say thank you so much for all of the kind sweet words on my last two videos. Um, my last like actual floss two video before my vacation and also my whip video. Um, I know that that's been a long time coming and my channel looks like I haven't had a whip video in two years when actually it's been less than a year. Um, but stupid people, whatever, taking my video down. It is what it is. So I'm really glad that y'all um, like that and like the things that I had to say and show in there. And so I don't have, I don't have a lot to show y'all, but I also kind of do. Let's see. So I kind of don't remember since it has been two weeks where I left off on a few things. Hi, silence. Thank you. Um, before I went on my trip. So I had the plan of taking some things and getting some work done on them. I will go ahead and say I did not work on, on Ionomy at all. Um, I tried stitching on the plane, but it made my migraine worse, and I got a migraine going there and coming back. It was not fun. <laughs> um, but I did get semi-started on the um, Wild Violet Stitching Tarot cards. So I decided to do them in black thread on the leftovers of the fabric that I did the Michael Powell on. And I will say, I love the way that this looks, but I genuinely hate stitching on this fabric. Um, only because it's not like true even weave. It is, it is literally linen. It's gorgeous, but also my eyes get tripped out by sparkly fabric. It's why I only work with sparkle fabric for very specific, what just fell? <laughs> for very specific things. Um, and these I think are going to be beautiful and I think the sparkles are gonna add to it, but it does make it really difficult to work on. I do love her fabric though, and she does have other options of fabric and also non-sparkly. So I think at some point I am gonna order some Barbarell Creation fabrics for myself um, to test out. Um, if you remember, my Michael Powell was done on the other half of this, and actually this was a half of a piece. Um, so this is like the remnants of a half, anyways, um, that Michelle Bendy sent to me, so that way um, I could do the Michael Powell on, on it. So, um, and it was sent to her as a gift. So this has been kind of like gifted and like used and abused. So um, I think Barbarelle Creations on Etsy has some beautiful fabrics, but I really want to try one on one of the other types of fabrics and also not a sparkle. Um, and she has just gorgeous colors, so you should go check her out. Um, the whole sparkle thing, it's, it's my eyes. Like it literally just does not do anything for my migraines. So it just makes it harder for me. Um, <laughs> So whenever I say that I hate stitching on a particular fabric, it's not that I hate necessarily the fabric. I just hate that it's hard for me visually to stitch on it. Um, but you know, I'm still going to stitch on it. And speaking of another sparkly fabric, um, I didn't get to work on this um, on my trip at all. But I feel like I did more after my last video before I left for my trip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and re-show it to you. So this is Country Cottage Needleworks. Yes. Pretty sure. Yes, Country Cottage Needleworks, the nativity. This is my um, working copy printout so that way I can mark all over it. I've changed a lot of the co colors so I have a lot of like, I'm not gonna do this to an original copy. So I make Xerox. If you're new here, that's what's up. But anyway, so this is on Picture This Plus Crystal Mirage. 
Um, I just really liked it. Um, I should have changed up more of the colors to be a little bit lighter um, because some of them are a little bit hard to see on camera, but in person they're not. Um, so this is this like this part right here. So this is the whole pattern. I'm working on this section at the moment. Um, but yeah, it, I, in December, I'm going to use my little Christmas stitching wheel to like pick what I'm going to stitch on. And so this I still have on the wheel. But um, so I will work on him some more. It is a rather quick stitch, but I did not work on this while I was on vacation um, because I just I got wrapped up in working on a couple other things um that you're gonna see in a minute um and the those were even hard to work on um I have my house all the bulbs are daylight bulbs they're super bright I love having a super bright well-lit house not only for stitching but just in general and my cousin's house is very much not like that. Um, there's not a whole lot of lights and they have like soft white in all of the lights. So this would have been hard to work on at my cousin's house. So um, I can't wait to work on this some more in December. Might not get a finish, but you know, one can always hope it does stitch pretty quick. Um, but I think it looks really cute. It is a little bit hard to see some of it, but in person it's not that bad. And I just think it's a really cute stitch. Like I said, I didn't get to work on Ionomy at all. So nothing to show there. Oh, I need to put these back in with the nativity before I forget where they came from. Okay. All right. So. Let's get into what came in the mail while I was gone. So while I was gone, my fabric of the month came and um, you know, you always get these like free collections. I'm not the biggest fan of these like Hershey Kiss things. I'm sure they're cute, um, but just not the biggest fan. Um, this is like a little miniature sampler with pumpkins. So these are all more like Thanksgiving themed. Um, this one's kind of cute. It's a little pumpkin with little crows. Turn please. Thank you. Um, <laughs> here's a little happy turkey day. He's kind of cute. A little pumpkin. And that's it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep any of these. Um, they just, they aren't really like my style, but they are pretty cute. This was the wrapping for the fabric. So, my free gift this month is floss pack bags, and it comes with a little ring. I will probably never use these, so probably save them for like some time to do like a giveaway or make them a giveaway in like somebody who buys something in a D stash or something just add that into their package um and the fabric that I got was 32 count Lugana the 18 by 27 in heritage so this is like a greenish gray color it's like a greenish gray it's not bad. That's about true to color. It's pretty nice. Um, definitely don't have anything at this moment that I think would look pretty good on that. So this is just going to sit in the stash at, for right now. Um, so that was my fabric of the month. And my A Year of Celebrations came in. I'm so excited for this. And I've kind of already started it. <laughs> so um, I figured out that I'm going to use one of my fabric of the month fabrics for this. And all of them will fit on it because the way that I want to finish them, um, whenever that happens, <laughs> I want to make them like little tiny pillows that can hang 
and I want to like make a wreath or something that I can like hang them in the center of and put it like on my front door or actually maybe not my front door but my kitchen door so my front door we don't really use a whole lot like some people use my front door but my dad uses my garage my best friend uses my garage because they have the code to get in um, and so they just literally walk into the house um, <laughs> whenever they're here. Um, but like other friends and stuff like that who don't have the code to my house, they come to the front door. So it's definitely not used that much. So um, I don't know if I want something hanging on the door that needs to be changed monthly. So I thought about doing like a seasonal wreath for the front door. So I may do something cute for my kitchen door, which links to my garage. So something that would be in the kitchen. But anyways, I think I'm gonna make these little tiny pillows to hang in a wreath for my kitchen door or like somewhere in that vicinity. Um, so I've already decided like I'm going to change up some of the colors of these um, to kind of like go with like my house's like color palette a little bit better. Um, but I've also already started. So um, I started this on 32 Count Lugana Bramble by Picture This Plus. And here is my January so far. I literally started this Wednesday. It's now Friday. I didn't really work on it a whole lot yesterday, so I've done quite a bit. I'm hoping to have him done this weekend, um, so that way my December stitching can be my wheel. What fell on the ground? Oh, so um, I, so that way it can be my December wheel stitching. Um, and then in January, I'll do February, so I'm trying to like do the months in advance. Um, so I have changed up some of the colors. Um, the, and I, again, I made a working copy because I'm writing all over it and highlighting and I don't want to ruin the original. So, um, I made the letters tin bucket. Um, I made the orange, the called for DMC, which is 970. Um, the, uh, this, this color right here, this golden color is supposed to be like a lime green and I made it Harvest Moon by Gast and his arms are the called for, D uh, or they're not the called for DMC. The called for is 801 and I didn't have it. Available, so I did DMC 938. Um, I'm gonna do the earmuffs in black, so 310. Um, my white instead of 3865 is gonna be beef, is B5200. Um, and the blue instead of being Blue Coat Blue by Weeks Dye Works. I am doing a Fabrics by LJ Teal Agate. So um, I really like those colors together. I think they look super, super nice. I honestly cannot wait to start February. It's just so stinking cute. And I have like, I have a purple that I dyed and I have um, a purple and a pink from Fabrics by LJ. So I cannot wait to like mix up the colors in the February and make it, um, a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about these. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to make them into like little tiny pillows with like a little hanger and, um, find or make a cute little wreath to put in my kitchen for those. Okay. So, <laughs> before I left on my trip, um, after I filmed, but before I left, um, while I was at my dad's, um, that Monday before I left, I had nothing to do. I didn't have a vehicle. I was just at my dad's. So, I started 
With Thy Needle by Brenda Gervais's Candy Cane Wishes. <coughs> oh my God. <laughs> but I started, can is it Candy Cane, Candy Cane Wishes or Candy Cane Dreams? I started Candy Cane Wishes. I'm pretty sure that's the name. And he's finished. So, um... I was almost done with him whenever I got on the plane and I did attempt to stitch on him a little bit on the plane but it made my migraine worse so I finished him like a day or two into my trip in Maryland. He is so stinking cute. So the other thing is um, the changes that I made in here aside from colors which I don't remember all the colors that I changed but I or what I changed them to but I pretty much changed all of them. I only use two different color like red slash reds because um, his cheeks are pink but his mittens and scarves were supposed to be a color the cardinals are supposed to be a color and then the berries and the red and the candy cane were supposed to be a color so the berries and the candy cane are the same color as the cardinals um, and also this candy cane is supposed to be over one and since I was working on Ada, I just kind of recharted the candy cane a little bit and made it over one, but on Ada. <laughs> so I just made the candy canes a little bit bigger than what it's supposed to be, but I truly think this is adorable. I love this. And I did the snowman and oatmeal so that way he would kind of be a little like grungy, like dirty a little bit looking to kind of go with the fabric as well. So, um, yeah, I am so excited about this. And then because he was done and because the lighting was like, so, so, you know, at like my cousin's at my cousin's house, um, I didn't want to work on any of the other ones that I had because I needed better lighting for those. So I got started on and then like the day I got back finished with thy needle by Brenna Gervais's here a peep there a peep so I wasn't even going to start this originally until next year but I decided to kit her up and oh my god look at those colors so for the dress I um used the fabrics by L uh, LJ Teal Agate I love this for the dress on this fabric I think it just stands out so well it's just gorgeous um, I used nutmeggy for one of the color for the color of the flower. Um, it's just it's so pretty. Um, yeah, and I like change up the nest a little bit. I did. I didn't use the avocado for the nest. Um, what else did I do? I think avocado is the only called for color that I actually had um, in my arsenal. But she's just so... Oh my gosh, this package is in the way. She's so gorgeous. I mean, look at that. So beautiful. I love it so much. So I've really got to figure out like really how I want to finish these. Um, <laughs> because they're just so cute. I don't know. Maybe I'll just see if Heather will make these into flat folds too, because they're just so small and cute and tiny and adorable. And I don't know what to do with them, but, ah, she's so cute. I absolutely love this one. I love the snowman too. Like he's so adorable, but these colors on this fabric is just Oh, so lush. So anyways, that's basically what I've worked on um, over the last two weeks. So two finishes, um, a new start, a little bit more progress on, you know, oh, two new starts, a little bit more progress on one of my Christmas stitches. And it's almost December. So um my Christmas wheel will be in use and I already have it set up. So I have Gingerbread Lane, Apostles Creed, Noah's Ark, Tannenbaum, Little House ABC's Winter, The Sampler Santa by Lizzie Kate, Christmas Rules, 
Oh, I did take off the nativity on here. I need to add it back. Um, let me do that really fast. The nativity. Um, and then I ordered the sugar and spice pattern by Little House Needleworks that just came out too. So I don't know if that's going to get added to the wheel or not, but I've also already picked out the fabric for the Lizzie Kate one. So some of it is gonna go on the other small piece of this, which is right here. So I just need to pick out the colors and some of it's gonna go on the other piece of the over the coffee teed over dyed Midas from Picture This Plus. So again, this is haunted by Picture This Plus. Um, baked in coffee tea dye. And so um, the Lizzie Kate um, sampler claws I'm going to do on two different colors. One's going to be Joy. One's going to be the Santa. Um, so yeah, so this is my wheel. <laughs> so um, this weekend I'm going to finish this hopefully and, um, and then I'm going to spin this so actually let's just go ahead and spin this we're gonna spin it twice um because I'll do like half a week half a week because there's one two three four five six seven eight wait there's nine things on here so that gives us you know some leeway so let's spin it twice to see what I will be working on the first week of December Yes, Apostles Creed. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's fit it one more time. Do, 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 do. And start Noah's Ark. Okay, so that means that I need to dye the fabric for that this weekend. <laughs> so that way I will have the fabric to start Noah's Ark. Okay, so yeah i need to do that tomorrow then so apostles creed and noah's ark sounds great so that's gonna be the two christmas wheel um spins for next week so um hopefully i'll have a small finish and some work done on some christmas stuff so some more done on my apostles creed and start the Noah's Ark series. So I will see y'all next Friday. I hope that y'all have a fantastic um, final week uh, or final weekend few days of November. Um, actually, today's the last day of, November, of the month, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so I hope that y'all have a great start to December. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a week. Bye, guys.